Hello and welcome! In today's video, we'll be opening this palette full packs, seeing what's inside, and using the contents to participate in an online challenge here on YouTube. Welcome, my name is Miranda, and on this channel we do all kinds of watercolor stuff. Sometimes we get distracted by other fun art supplies because of boxes like this, and we just have a good time. So if you are new, check out the other videos on my channel. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. It is free to you, and all that does is let you know when I release a new video. All right, let's open this box and see what's inside. In we go. So this is the Petite Pack. So it comes with a lot of the same supplies as the Premier Pack. Just usually the paper is smaller. Sometimes you get a brush or pen less than the other one, but it's the same otherwise. So Daler Rowney Acrylic Ink in black. We have Speedball Sketching with a lot of different nibs. I probably have all of these. I will look and if so, I will not open this. I'll put this right in the giveaway bin in its package and use the one I have. We have a Pilot Varsity. Ooh. Now that looks fun. I'm excited to try that. A Pilot Ultra Fine Permanent. Okay. A Robert Simmons White Sable Four Round. An Art Alternatives Permanent Marker, which I can't get open. Huh. And it is gray. And Strathmore Drawing Pad, 24 sheets of drawing paper with a medium surface. Slightly cream in color. And the most important part, the cute little sticker. <laughs> I like that one. That's it. Let's try out this paper with some of these supplies. I'll zoom you in some more here. Paper feels somewhat absorbent. This is a really unique tip on this one. Okay, now the fun one. I wonder if I have to do anything special. Nope, you just gotta start writing. Not the best handwriting this morning. Interesting. This has sizing in it. Doesn't really feel like it. So this is an acrylic ink, so we have to be aware of that with our brushes here, or the brush. Okay, this is fun. Something's just satisfying about ink. You wash that out and see how much we can smear these. This is permanent, it shouldn't smear. The pilot says it's permanent too, this one. So these two say they're permanent. Let's see. Okay, so that one's resistant to water. This one also appears to be resistant to water. Good. This one I suspect will smear, which I'm hoping we can get some fun effects from. Ooh, yeah. It's kind of what I was hoping because I have an idea. <laughs> okay, nice. Ooh, and that reactivates for a short while while it's still tacky, but I imagine being acrylic, it's going to be permanent once it's pretty dry. Yeah, oh, it's still smearing. We'll give it some more time and see. So the online art challenge I'm talking about is being hosted by Dina Tollefson. I have participated in several of her art challenges. In fact, I'm probably going to have to create a playlist for it, and I probably already did that, and I'll link that for you in the corner and in the description box below. You can see all my previous entries. And this time, it is the favorite bird art challenge. I am not a bird person. I love hummingbirds, and I like looking at pretty birds, but I know almost nothing about them. So the first thing that popped into my mind for my favorite bird is Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> so we're gonna use these supplies to do a little drawing slash painting of Woody Woodpecker. And I'm really looking forward to it. I found a few pictures of Woody Woodpecker on the Googles that I'm going to sketch up. And I thought I would use bigger paper, but I think I'll just use this paper. So I have this picture here. And this one. I'm gonna do them both, I think. 
And I pulled out this black wing. It's from a previous palette fill pack, so I think it counts. I traditionally use mechanical pencils, but you hear such great things about black wings, and if I keep using my mechanical pencils, I'll never have the chance to use this. So I pulled it out. I really like the square eraser, and I pulled out my pencil sharpener that I got for Christmas one year, so it's nearby. And I used it to sharpen it once already, and it's awesome. And I have my Faber-Castell dust-free eraser. This thing tends to live on my desk. I love this. It was surprisingly easy to sketch Woody Woodpecker, so if you were worried about drawing, this might be a good character to try because it was pretty straightforward. Drawing's all finished, and it looks like I do have this exact set. The little handle, the big handle. Well, my rubber band has seen better days. That's probably only gonna last another minute. <laughs> and all the nibs inside look like, yeah, look like I have all the similar ones. Yep. So no need to open that. We'll keep this intact. And if one of you out there is dying to have one of those, let me know. Comments below. And get some ink on this. Hopefully I can use this ink directly from here because without watering it down is what I mean. Because, oh, it is a little squeegee, that's cool. I'm just gonna set the lid in there and hopefully, yes, use it right from the bottle. Like I said, without watering it down. We'll start at the first one, this guy. And I don't know what nib to use. Choices, choices, I'll use only one that came in the kit. Let me pull that back over here. Singina. They're all pretty thin except for that one. But that's fine. What's that one look like? Let's try this one. Oh yeah, it won't work in this handle because it's tiny. Okay, go back to our first page and make sure this works. Is that too much? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've used... Ooh, that's super flexible. And that is not flowing. Okay, we'll stick that in water. <laughs> that was a fail. Let's try a bigger one. Let's try this one. Is that in that kit? Yes, it is, okay. That is sharp. Ouchie. I really don't wanna water this down. I want it to just work right from the bottle. Okay, that works, just I had too much in it. Maybe, it kind of, sort of works. Hmm, well. Not the most ideal thing in the world, but we can use it. Well, this should be interesting. And I did make a valiant effort to try and use this dip pen, but really I think the ink is too thick and I moved over to the pen. And you can see that pen has thin and thick lines, so it was fun because the harder you press, then you got thicker lines. And then I used the gray one for some shadows and in the eyes. And it was kind of fun to use both the fountain dip pen, whatever you want to call it, and the pens that came in the set. Because if I had just stuck to the fountain pen or dip pen, then I wouldn't have had a chance to use these. And they are really nice. They have such a smooth flow, both the gray one and this one here. Remember, one is the pilot pen and one is an alt or turn. Oh my goodness, I've tried to say that three times. Alt, oh my gosh, again. <laughs> Art alternatives pigment liner. There we go. Third time's a charm. Actually, that was the sixth time, but it was the third time that I just kept the recording going. <laughs> so I'm going to speed up some of the rest of this for you, but when I get to the ink, I will slow it down because there are some cool things that happen with the ink and with that other pilot pen that is the little fountain tip nib. What do you call those? As much as I watch Creating Cute Art and Stephanie Davis, who they both love pens kind of like that, you would think I would know, but for some reason it is escaping my brain today. It is escaping my brain today, and apparently so is talking. <laughs> oh boy, it's going to be one of those days, I think. Well, anyway, once I finish up with this pen, I move on to using the Pilot Varsity, and this is so much fun because this is the one that reactivates with water. So I'm putting this line around, and then I will grab the paintbrush and just smear it around and watch the magic happen. Although, since there's not a whole lot of the ink on here, you know, not a lot of magic happens, but still it puts a fun little gray cloud back there, which I completely change in the scene later. And then I use that same Pilot Varsity pen though to put the wood texture in the background of Woody Woodpecker. This part's really fun. 
because when you smear those lines, it definitely looks like a wood texture, and I loved doing that part. So much fun. However, that cloud was not nearly as dark as I wanted, so I came in with the brush and the ink, and some of that was still wet, so it kind of bled, but since I had that hard line on the edge of the cloud anyway, I just brought the ink out to it with the paintbrush, and then changed some more stuff later again. And this next part was really fun because I took that Pilot Varsity pin again and just scratched in some places where there were shadows and then where the blue part of his feathers, I guess they would be feathers, would be, and the red part of him and made it dark like it should be in the picture because he's pretty dark except for the white belly and white gloves and his beak. And here it is all done. I will show it to you again later. But for now, let's move on to the first sketch we did and see what we can do with this one. For this one, I put a little bit of ink in that little pot there and thought I diluted it with water, but it is very strong. So kept having to add more water to my brush because I wanted this part of his feathers to be more gray-like. It ended up looking pretty dark at first, but it's perfect at the end. <laughs> and I'm leaving a couple of places for highlights so that's pretty fun to do here. And once I finish up getting in all of the dark, darker parts of Woody Woodpecker, I move on to my absolute favorite part, which is going to be the background, which you're going to see here in just a moment. And I start the background by wetting my brush. It's kind of a small brush for this, but I was trying to be true to the box and just use the brush that came with it and not dig out one of my bigger ones. Got a little water where it shouldn't be there. And when I get some water laid in, I don't want to do the whole thing, but I put some water in the top part and then wait for it, wait for it, because I will be dropping in some ink. And when you drop in some ink in water, amazing things happen. Look at that. Oh, I could just do that all day. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, it's running towards Woody Woodpecker. Kind of an awful lot. Is that what I want? but I had left a little bit of a gap where the water did not touch him. I'm like, whoa, that's actually kind of perfect. <laughs> so I like how that happened. And then I just kind of manipulate it around some more and do the same thing on the rest of the background. And this is why I have always in my mind, I need to get my inks out and play with them some more. I need to get them out and experiment and drop ink and water and see what happens. I need to do that more. And I just have a lot of projects that I want to do and only a limited amount of time. But eventually I'll get to them because, you know, it's on the list. And that's one of the advantages of a no buy is hopefully, maybe, you'll get to the supplies you already are trying to get to and that you already know that you love. <laughs> but they're a little neglected for now. So that's my hope. So then I just kind of finish up by manipulating the ink and pulling and pushing it where I want it to be going over a couple of places, making them darker, and avoiding any hard edges. So I'm not showing my face. <laughs> I've been moving drywall all morning and I'm a mess. I'm like covered in drywall powder. I'm gonna show you my two Woody Woodpeckers in just a second, so have some patience. But first, there's a couple of things that I wanted to tell you. I received a gift of these three lovely half pans from a really, nice viewer friend and they are Windsor and Newton and I'll go over them in more detail probably in a future video but on my Patreon we played with them. So here are the colors so you can see which ones she gave me. Some mixes I did with them and a quick little sketch painting. So if you want to catch extra live streams and I do ad free videos for them that aren't shown on YouTube at all then go check out my Patreon. The link is in the description box below and I've put it up on the screen here for you. We have a we have a lot of fun over there. And I also send out postcards of my artwork to you guys and definitely enjoy getting to know you guys better. Plus we've started Zoom get togethers so I can actually see and hear you guys, those of you that want to participate in that kind of thing. But anyway, this is that Mission Gold palette that I made in last video. And since these were just loose, I use the top of it as a mixing space, which is great. And I just have them squished down with Uhu Tack. It's like Blue Tack. It's just a different brand. So that was one update. Don't worry, we're getting to Woody Woodpecker in a second. But the other is these little palettes. I showed these on my community page and then gave you guys a link 
to get some of them if you wanted one yourself. And this is a little sewing kit. So all three of these I found at my grandma's house going through stuff there. And I am going to take the sewing kit out of this one. And I have other containers that I can put this sewing kit in because it actually is useful for my camper. And I'll be painting the inside of this white because see this actually opens flat and you could use it as a mixing space whereas this one only opens straight up and down. However, I still am going to paint the inside white in case I wanted to like lift it up and use it as a mixing space, I could. But I will be doing a video on making these into paint palettes, but I sent one to Annie Noodle. She has a YouTube channel here, and I'll link that in the i card in the corner in the description box below. Go check out her video. She picked some really cool colors for hers, and I sent her the cutest little design. I'm on a no buy for me, but I can buy stuff for other people. So I sent her this, oh, it's just perfect for her. And if you know her, you, I hope, will agree. Go check out her channel. It's really cute what she did with hers. All right, let's get on to the Woody Woodpeckers. Well, here they are. They're so cute. And that was incredibly fun. There is something immensely satisfying about two things. First thing, using a pen that when you put water on top of it, it just bleeds everywhere. That is so much fun. The second thing is when you put water down and drop ink into it and it just explodes, that makes my heart happy. So this was fun any which way you look at it. Plus I love how my little Woody Woodpeckers turned out. I wasn't sure how the coloring and shading would go, not having blue and red, you know, his classical colors, but I think that it turned out really cute. So that is my favorite bird for the favorite bird art challenge. Make sure you go check out Dina Tollefson's playlist. I will also link that below. It may come out a little bit after this video, but I'll put it in the description box as soon as I can find it because a lot of other artists are participating and it's fun to see what they do for these separate art challenges. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, it's taped. Oh, great. Did my computer freeze up? Did it really? No? No. Okay. It's just being an idiot. And definitely enjoy getting to know you no more. Oh. <laughs> so that is my favorite bird for my favorite. <laughs> and it's fun to see what they do for the favorite. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'd have to be like over here. <laughs>